Girl Scouts. Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part four of four for the Brownie Think Like an Engineer journey. Today we will be discussing um, how we can take the three design challenges that we have done and use them as inspiration for a take action project. But first, let's get started with the Girl Scout promise and law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So, take action projects. What are they? How do we do them? You might have heard of take action projects before, and you might have also heard of something called a community service project. Both of these are projects that help our community, but they are different from each other in a few ways. So a community service project makes the world a better place by addressing a problem right now. So for example, that could be like collecting food uh, to give to a food pantry. Whereas a take action project encourages you to develop a project that is sustainable. And so that means that the problem continues to be addressed even after the project is over. So sustainability simply means uh, coming up with a solution that lasts. So let's take a look at an example. Um, maybe you want to do something about trash at your local park. Uh, so if you go to the trash, um, if you go to the park and you pick up trash, um, you've solved that problem just for that day. If you came back the next day, there would be more trash to pick up. So we're looking for a sustainable solution to the problem. So what we challenge you to do is think of reasons why it's happening. Why is there trash at the park? So maybe there aren't enough trash cans. Maybe trash cans are hard for people to find. Maybe people have to walk out of their way uh, to throw away the trash. Or maybe people don't realize the importance of putting trash in trash cans. So that list of um, reasons that I just read off, that is what we call the root cause of your problem. And so once you have a problem that you know you want to address, the next step is to identify a root problem or a root cause of the problem. And that is um, what you are going to base your take action project off of. So go, um, continuing with the trash example, um, maybe here are some ideas for how you could address the problem. So maybe you make a presentation um, to your city council and report on what you found and suggest adding more trash cans or moving the trash cans that are already there to be more visible uh, for people to use. Or maybe you create a public awareness campaign that encourages people to use the trash cans instead of littering. So those are two possible solutions to the problem that you identified that would be sustainable because they would continue to work even after you are done with your take action project. So again, let's take a look at the steps of a take action project. So first we are identifying the problem. Then we are coming up with a sustainable solution. Next, we are developing a team plan. After that, you put the plan into action. And then finally, you reflect on what you have learned. Now, if you are watching this video um, with an adult or you are an adult watching this video, um, we always encourage and hope that take action projects are girl led. So what that would look like is the girls brainstorming the, um, the problems that they are wanting to solve. So the girls thinking of what is it in my community in my community that I would like to address. And then of course, 
um, as they get stumped, you are um, absolutely um, able to help fill in some blanks uh, that they aren't very sure about. Um, so, you know, helping them brainstorm that process of, you know, what are some potential solutions that we can um, do, solutions that we can create to address this problem. So that is absolutely where you can step in. Um, but as much as possible, we want girls to take ownership of this take action pro uh, project so that they can be enthusiastic about what they are creating because if it is their own girl generated idea, um, then they are going to be so much more passionate about following through with the take action project. All right, so I'm going to touch a little bit more about how to make projects sustainable. So we are looking um, at a couple different ways to make projects sustainable. If you're kind of having a hard time thinking about how, how can I create this lasting change? So there's some three different ways that um, you can make your project sustainable. The first one is to make your solution permanent. The second one is to educate and inspire others to be part of the change. And the third one is to change a rule, regulation, or law. Okay, so thinking of your take action idea. If you remember this whole journey, we have been thinking like engineers. And so that whole idea of engineering is one category in a big thing that we call STEM. So STEM is an acronym, just kind of like how LOL stands for laugh out loud. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So we were focusing on the E part of STEM these past three weeks. And so it would be great, it would be a very fun challenge if you could try to make your take action project have something to do with engineering. And so here's my little little nugget of wisdom, my little nugget of inspiration for you. Um, your life right now might look a little different than what it used to look like um, if you're watching this in 2020. Maybe you um, used to go to a public school where you had lots of classmates that you would see every day and now you might be um, attending school from home or attending school online. Um, so my question to you is, is there something about your school life that you miss right now? And is there a way that you could bring that back, that you could try to replicate it or find a creative way to bring it into your home life. And then can you share that with your classmates or with your troop? How can you um, share that with someone? So there is my question for you if you are having a hard time uh, figuring out where you wanna get started with this Take Action Project. Um, and you know, you can do this by yourself. You can do this with the rest of your troop um, virtually online or when the day comes that we are all able to meet up together again as Girl Scouts, we can talk about it then. Um, I'm gonna leave you with that. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me on this Think Like an Engineer journey. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or pictures that you wanna post of what you're doing, please go back to our Facebook page and share those. I love seeing those pictures. I love reading those comments. Um, so thank you so much for that. And let's wrap things up with make new friends and our friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye Girl Scouts.